Hey everyone, Tills here. Today I'm going to see how, what happens if you put a 4 disc into a Nintendo GameCube. Volume 4. Alright, just to show you that works. I have uh, Metroid Prime. I don't have the case for it. It just came with this like crappy uh, like cheap DVD case. So Yeah, let's just put this in. and there you go the game works so there's a uh, metroid prime working right here just put the game out all right i have a wii game up next super mario galaxy doesn't want to fit somehow that's weird all right then so that doesn't work how about a ps3 game monster man is grave danger that also doesn't fit all right then uh how about a dvd then mission impossible rogue nation okay then that does not want to fit either just put that to the side i'm gonna watch that later so yeah these these uh discs um are not the size of this so i'm just gonna use um one of these this is a from a camera this is like a one of those mini computer cds so i'm gonna see if it works if it's just like that just like a gamecube disc see if it works Please insert a GameCube disc. All right. What if what if I restart it? Yeah, still no disc. All right then. Put that to the side. How about uh, a Video Now disc? This is like a GBA video format, sort of. Just um by Tiger Electronics. It's pretty interesting, and these discs are a little bigger than the GameCube disc, like, for a comparison. I can't even pick it up, so. Alright. See if that works. No disc. Worked on the PlayStation. Why doesn't it work here? Weird. Alright. Um, and let me go to some Game Boy games. We just all right i have ballistic for the game boy i know there's a game boy player but i don't actually own one so what if i like just put it right on the top which actually doesn't then what about memory card let's just move to here this is all the data i have you know nothing inserted in uh, slot b and yes i do have a lot of sonic games as you can see right here all right so ballistic Oh, well, it does not work without the GBA video, or not the GBA video, the Game Boy Player. <laughs> Alright, I have Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. That also won't work on this, on um, the game slot. So I'll just put that to the side. How about SpongeBob SquarePants Volume 1, GBA Video? I know that they don't work, but I'll just do it just for fun. Yep, so it does not work. All right then. All right, here's my last chance. Spyro Season of Ice. It wouldn't work on the PlayStation, so hopefully it works here. Just without the Game Boy Player. Nope. Oh well, I've tried. Step by of a PSP game, X-Men Origins Wolverine. This is like those UMD discs, those brittle, brittle discs that you can see right here. It's like kind of broken a bit. Let me just exit out of here. Yeah, it doesn't even work. That's that's odd. It's also a PlayStation, so I'm guessing that's why it doesn't work. All right, we have Lego Batman, the video game for the uh, Nintendo DS. It's actually a good one. I've I've beaten this game. I've beaten the 360, the 
PS1, or not PS1, PS2, um, Wii, Xbox. Let's see if it works. Nope. Does not work. Maybe it just doesn't like Batman, that's all. Maybe that's why people hate Batman Dark Tomorrow, like... <laughs> yeah, never mind. Alright, um, Sonic Generations for the 3DS. And if it doesn't like Batman Dark Tomorrow, then it must like Sonic. I even have, like, a whole bunch of Sonic right over here, so. Nope, nothing. It's disappointing. Alright. How about a floppy disk? IndyCar Racing. Nope. Alright. Spider-Man and Friends, Doc Ock's Challenge. For the V-Smile. It doesn't even fit. I don't have a Game Boy player, so I am doubt it works. I have cassette tape right over here. Yeah, it doesn't work either. I'm gonna put it right here because these things are sensitive. Um, and finally, um, a Sega Genesis game, NBA Live 96. For the Genesis, or, yeah, I think it's the Genesis. All right, yeah, I can't tell by this uh, electronic art thing. Nope, does not even work. That's disappointing. 